Hallelujah. Mora basi karabroka basha tarabata tarabrata ta. Rebera basa tarabata tarabata ta. Mora basi katarabata. Glory be to God. <laughs> Hello there, people of God. Bless you. Ah, ah. What's up, friends? It's Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here from Amarillo, Texas. I'm in a great state of Texas, the great land of Texas. Today, I want to talk to you about the great change. There is a great change that's coming, a great suddenly, a great move. There is something magnificent that God is doing. Amen. Glory be to God. Sharabata. Let me know where you're watching from, friends. Amen. Give some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. I believe great change is in the air. And I want to talk to you about the great change that's coming. I have a prophetic word in my spirit. And I believe the Lord is preparing you for the greatest season of your life, the greatest miracle, the greatest breakthrough, the greatest season of outpouring that you have ever seen. Someone say amen. There is a changing of the guards and great change is coming. Can I get a hallelujah? So people of God, let me know where you're watching from. Comment below. Give us some hearts and likes as Dr. Pastor Ben, one of your favorite prophetic voices. Help me to get the numbers up, the algorithm up, the atmosphere up in faith. Amen. And I'm going to give you some shout outs and say hello to my dear, wonderful friends. Good to see you. Kashika, it's been some time. Kimberly, bless you. Providence, Ivana, bless you. Jay Carlos, bless you, my friend. Shalom, shalom to you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Jurgen, bless you. Shara Babarota. We come in agreement with you, Kumari, in Jesus' name. Claudine, bless you. Yahweh, Yahweh. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. Madeline James, God bless you. Well, I'm here in Amarillo, Texas, the great state of Texas. And last night we had day one of our crusade here in Amarillo. And tonight is day two. And then tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we are going to be in Albuquerque, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And Jay Hamilton, my good friend, is going to be with us. So it's going to be very powerful. So stay tuned and you can watch all of our live uh, events with Route 66 at Route 66 Revival on the Facebook page. Amen. Mobile, Alabama, bless you. Watching from India. Fresno, California, bless you. Amen. Yes, see you in Albuquerque. Spread the word. Let your haters know Dr. Ben is coming in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, people of God, I want to talk to you about great change that's coming. So I'm going to say great change. And there's a number of things I want to release over you. I want to speak into your spirit because I really believe that this is a season of great change. So I'm going to say great change. So uh, praise God. Rebe Sata. Shatara Baba. Amen. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm excited to share this word. Do you feel change in the air? Do you feel a shift in the spirit? Amen. And if you know anything about me, I only want to say what I believe is a now prophetic word of God. I only want to say what the spirit of God is saying and doing. So praise God for his prophetic word, for his rhema. In the mighty name of Jesus. And all of God's people say amen. Hallelujah. Well, people of God, welcome, welcome, welcome. Like I said, this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. And we had a phenomenal webinar on Monday. I talked about the realm of suddenlies. And literally, I am still reverberating from that realm. I, I'm in that realm still, but... Literally, I'm still drinking from that well that we released, we tapped into on that Monday, Jesus, about the realm of suddenlies. Amen. So uh, 
we're going to be putting up on our YouTube channel very soon. Praise God, our YouTube channel, we finally broke through 20,000 subscribers. It's been a long journey. Listen, my YouTube has been banned for over a year after January 6th. And, uh, you know, but the Lord is building it back up. So ever since then, our YouTube especially has been under warfare and attack and a lot of censorship and a lot of, you know, that nonsense. But praise God, yesterday we finally broke 20K on YouTube. So let's give God some praise for that. Amen. So I want to talk to you about great change because I believe we're in a season of the greatest transfiguration of our lives. Everything about you is going to change in this three month window. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen. Everything's going to change about you. Now, give me some hearts and likes and help me build up the algorithm and the broadcast. Amen. Because I believe there is a word and an impartation that God wants to release to his children today, to you. I want to say great change. Amen. Now, let's go to the key verse. Let's go to this verse here. Hallelujah. Like I said, I'm here in Amarillo, Texas. Uh, tonight will be our second and our last night in Amarillo. And then we're off to Albuquerque tomorrow. And we start a crusade in Albuquerque tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Can I get an amen? Well, let's read this verse here. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Say now. Do you not perceive it? Hallelujah. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Someone say great change. I believe we're in a season of great change. What does that mean? God is changing your guard. There is a changing of the guard. There is a changing of addresses. Many of you are going to physically move. Who is looking for a new place right now? All right. Or who is believing for a new house, a new place? If that's you, I want you to comment. That's me. But I believe many of you are even going to change locations physically. There's going to be physical addresses changed. Many of you are coming to a shift. And in this month of June, in this month of June, this is, the, and you know what? We just stepped into the new Hebrew month called Tammuz. Amen. We just stepped into the new Hebrew month called Tammuz. In fact, yesterday was the beginning of Tammuz, the new Hebrew month. Amen. But I believe many of you are about to change. There's going to be a shift. Amen. Come on. Someone said preach, Dr. Man. I believe many of your financial income is going to change. Your prayer life is going to change. Hey, Dr. Roberts Laird, and let's give it up for the man of God, Dr. Roberts. Praise God. Amen. There's going to be great change coming to your life. And I believe right now the Lord is shifting things in the spirit and the supernatural. Where the spirit of God is releasing faith. And he's giving opportunities. Because we're three months away from the new Hebrew year. And we're in the second half of 2023. And who here knows that whenever God finishes something. He always finishes with an exclamation point. Whenever God finishes something, he's not only the alpha, but he's the omega, which means that God will always finish something better than how and when it started. So I'm saying amen. So I believe great changes in the air. And in this season, even as we stepped into the new Hebrew month called Tammuz, I believe in this season, God is saying, get ready for great change. Your inner circle is going to change. Your prayer life is going to change. Your vision is going to change. Come on, somebody. Your financial income status is going to change. Things are going to change so rapidly. Your physical location, your surroundings are going to change. So God is turning things around. And there's a great change and a great shift that's coming to you. But you must be ready and obedient. And you must be willing to make the sacrifice. Willing to make the change. So it's an amen. I believe there's going to be Saul to Paul conversions. Radical conversions. Someone say radical change. There's going to be radical conversions. Radical change. Some of you are going to go from Saul to Paul 
overnight. Some of you are going to go from Saul to Paul, broke to blessed, poor to rich, humbled to lifted up, rejected to celebrated. You're going to go from Saul to Paul overnight. So I prophesy Saul to Paul conversions, Saul to Paul overnight conversions in Jesus' name. And I believe there's going to be some great change. God is changing. Now, let's go to the Webster definition of what change means. And of course, the Bible says that you are a new creation. Amen. But here in the Webster Miriam dictionary definition, change means the act or instance of becoming different. Someone say, I'm different. Another definition means to make alter, modify something to be different. Another word says to replace. To change means to replace, to renew, to restore with something that's better. Someone say amen. Someone say better things are coming. Something better is coming for you. Something different is coming for you. It's different from the other seasons. It's different from last year. Can I get amen? Something better is coming. And I believe in the season, the Lord is saying, are you ready for something different? Are you ready for a different level, for a different dimension, for another level of the grace, the glory of God? Are you ready for great change? But you must be willing to change. Can I get an amen? You must be willing to bend, to shift, to transform, to modify, and to alter. Kirabasata. Some say great change. I believe we're in a season right now where God is saying he's going to modify everything in your life. Everything in your life is going to change. Can I get a witness in this place? Come on, give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Great change is coming to your health. Great change is coming to your body, to your physical appearance, to your mindset, to your friendships, to your circle. Great change is coming. Because we are in a season of increase. We are in a season of revival and great harvest. And before we step into the new Hebrew year 5784, and before we step into Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, the 10 days of all, there's going to be such a transfiguration, such a change. Amen. Because how you end 5783. It will determine how you start 5784. If you're following me today, say amen. And I believe in these next three months, it's going to be great change. Everything about you is going to change. Many of you, your financial increase is going to change. Your financial income. Many of you, your inner circle is going to change. Your association is going to change. Your physical address, your home, your location, where you are located is going to change. Are you willing to adjust? Are you willing to change? In the mighty name of Jesus, so don't say amen. Praise God. There's going to be Saul to Paul conversions, radical conversions. I believe the Lord in this season, he's saying, are you ready to change? Are you ready to convert? Are you ready to become new? Are you ready to shift your mindset? Alter your prayer life, your faith life. Are you ready to change some things? In the mighty name of Jesus. Some say great change. I believe we're going to see change in the government. We're going to see something different in the United States government. We're going to see something different in the church. A new breed is rising. A different breed is rising. Amen. And we're going to see something different. And whenever God shifts and changes, it's always going to be better. Someone say amen. It's always going to be better. I just got off the phone. I did a Zoom meeting with the marketing team for Chosen. And we changed my book title and uh, my subtitle. And we also changed, say changed, we also changed 
the concept for my book covers. And listen, before my book title was going to be called The Lost Art of Honor, Discovering God's Perfect Will for Your Life. But through strategy, prayer, discussion, we changed it. And now I believe this title, subtitle, and even book cover is so much better and stronger. Can I get an amen? Can I share this with you? Now the new book is going to be called The Supernatural Power of Honor. Find fulfillment, favor, and breakthrough restoration. And now we've changed the book cover idea, which I'm very excited about the concept that the Lord gave to me and dropped on my spirit as we were in discussion. The supernatural power of honor. Find favor, fulfillment, and breakthrough restoration. God is about to change some things for you. Amen. God is about to change your name. He's about to change your address. Who knows that when the Spirit of God came upon Abram, and when Abram and, and Sarah, their names were changed. From Sarah, Sarai, it became Sarah. From Abram became Abraham. So God is about to change your name. Hear me now. God is about to change your address and even your title. The office you operate in is going to change. Kira Baba. Everything about you is going to change. It's going to be different. It's going to be better. Amen. And I believe right now we're in a season of great change. Where God is saying, are you ready for change? Are you ready for different things? Are you ready for a shift? And here, let's go back to the key verse. Do you not perceive it? I'm doing a new thing. Amen. Say new thing. It springs forth. Do you not perceive it? He will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. God's doing a new thing. It's going to be different. It's going to be new. Never done before. Listen, some of you are pioneering something that you've never pioneered. Some of you are entering into something you've never experienced before. Amen. It's a new thing. It's a new season. Listen, I know there's a number of people doing tent revivals and outdoor gatherings. Amen. But what God is doing with Route 66 revival, that's a new thing. Ten cities of tent revivals. Are you kidding me? In one month. With families and children. Family missionaries, children missionaries being raised up for America. This is a new thing. So God is doing a new thing. It's not an old thing. It's not a thing from the past. It's 100% new and different. Can I get an amen? No, no room service. Thank you. These guys the second time today. But God is doing a new thing. And I believe in this season, who knows? Maybe that was a blessing from the Lord. Who knows? In Jesus' name. But uh, there is going to be such a new glory, such a new favor, such a new dynamic, such a new increase. Come on, somebody. Give me some hearts and lights. There's going to be such a shift and such a change. Good to see you, Prophet Marcella. Miss you guys. But there's going to be such a shift in your life. Some say great change. Everything about your language is going to change. Once again, Sarai and Abram received a new name. Abraham and Sarai. <laughs> they received a new name. Because their old name was not relatable to their new season. Hear me now. Their old identity, their old name was a thing of the past. It was not who they were. It was not who they were becoming. Come on, who here knows you have to marry someone that you see in the future, not in your past. Who here knows that you have to associate yourself with people that you see yourself within the future, not in the past. So great change is coming, friends. And I believe there's a shaking there's a shift, there's a release, a renewal, 
there's a great change that's coming for every single one of you. But you must believe. You must believe. You must believe and agree with the word of the Lord because I believe in this season. Hear me now. I believe in this season like I preached, I believe, last week on the anointing of the double. Some will only receive single. Some will receive double. Say double. Kirabashata. But in this season, you need to have faith. You need to have bold prayers. You need to have bold. You need to make those steps of sacrifice. Take those risks. Remember, faith is spelled R-I-S-K. Step out of the boat. Because great change is here. She got up. I felt the fire of God. Come on, pray in the spirit. Begin to pray in the spirit. Give me some hearts and likes in this place. Great change is here. God's going to shift everything. Who here senses the winds of change? Who here on this broadcast? You feel such a second wind. Such a wind of shift, a wind of change. Where God is blowing the debris. And you know what? Sun, Saturday night, as we finished our third day in Tulsa, guess what? The worst natural disaster that Tulsa has had as seen since 2007 came through Tulsa. There was a tornado thunderstorm that came through Tulsa. Miles for 100 miles per hour. Do you believe that in Tulsa? Literally, our team barely made it out of the tent and they hopped in their car. Boom. Winds, thunderstorm winds at 100 miles per hour in Tulsa. And we were singing, let it rain. And we were singing, let the fire fall. Amen. There's power in your words, power in your decree, power in your songs. So as we were singing, prophesying, winds of change. And remember, Pastor Brandon, I see you. Remember, Pastor Brandon, we did a prophetic act where we stretch out our hands in every direction as a corporate unit, as a corporate body. Boom, boom, boom. North, east, south, west. Are you ready for the winds of God to collide into you from every direction? From every corner, from the north, from the east, from the south to the west. It shall collide with you head on in the name of Jesus. Are you ready for a head on collision with the living God? Somebody shout amen. And listen, I'm from Southern California. All right, we're used to fires and earthquakes. Amen. But this was the first time I ever experienced thunder alarms. All right, thunder sirens. I felt like I was in World War II with the Nazis. First time in my life where there was fire and lightning. Oh my goodness, Jesus. 100 miles per hour winds. And that took place as we finished our third day, three days in a row of Crusades in Tulsa. So I'll say amen. Signs that make you wonder. Amen. Signs that make you wonder. So we're in a season of great change. God is blowing the winds of change and all the debris, all the facade, all the shaft, all the fake and the fluff is falling off. Hear me now. All the extra. All the extra. You didn't need all those people. You didn't need all those friends, so-called friends, frenemies. You didn't need all that. God is pruning. He's clearing the way. For God is saying, I'm doing a new thing. Do you not perceive it? He's doing a new thing. And I believe in this season, God is saying, get ready for great change. And it's going to be better. Amen. Like I shared with you, I just got off the Zoom call with the marketing team of Chosen. And we just agreed and discussed on my new book title. Instead of the lost art of honor, we have changed it to the supernatural power of honor. So it's amen. Whenever God changes something, it feels weird, awkward, and unusual at first. But it's the new thing. And it's the God thing. And it's always better. Someone say better. <clears throat> so I believe there's great change. Someone say great change. Great change in your life, in your prayer life. Great change in your finances, in your inner circle. There's change to your name, change to your address, change to your location. There's great change that is coming to you. How you do ministry, listen friends, 
I want to tell you, our ministry has evolved and changed so much. Miss you, Heidi. Our ministry has changed and evolved so much in the last two, three years. Amen. Like, really, I, I feel even more and more that Billy Graham mantle, that crusader evangelistic anointing for America. And in the new year, I'm excited. Listen, guys, I mean, Dominican Republic just opened. We're going to be doing crusades in Dominicana Republica in the month of December. Shaka Rebechete. February, Lord willing, I'll still be going to Brazil. Good to see you, Shannon. I'll still be going to Brazil next year, February. I've never been to Brazil. Amen. Fogo de Chao. Do some BJJ. But there's great change coming. And I feel even for next year, our ministry is going to shift radically. Seven days of glory. We're going to begin to do seven days of glory. Come on, somebody. Seven days straight of revival outpouring miracle signs and wonders good to see a supernatural fellowship let's give it up for snl snf excuse me from samoa i will be with them in samoa next month in july but there's great change coming and who you knows it's time to go from glory to glory the lord will always amen i'm ready for samoa as well there's always an elevation amen because as you elevate your view changes. Your perspective changes. As you elevate, things shift. And I'm just super excited, guys. You know why? Listen, this is... <laughs> woo! <laughs> this is the first time you are hearing this publicly. Are you ready? June 30th. June 30th. Come on, pray for Shannon. Let's get this today in Jesus' name. But June 30th, we have Santa Monica Pier set up. June 30th, that's not this Friday, next Friday. You believe it? June 30th, Route 66 Revival. We're doing Santa Monica Pier, and we just confirmed Jake Hamilton, Natasha Hen, Jesus Army Boot Camp, California Will Be Saved, and Ross Johnston in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody. And that's going to be June 30th. God is doing a new thing. He's merging. He's collaborating. He's bringing in the streams together. There is a new move, a new breed. There's a new thing, a new glory. Amen. So June 30th, Santa Monica Pier, it's going to be epic, y'all. Someone say epic. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be epic. Santa Monica Pier. Amen. But God's doing a new thing. And I believe great change is coming. Some say great change. Great change is coming to your life. Everything is about to change. Once again, the Webster Miriam definition of change means to make different. It means to alter or modify. And it also means to replace. To replace, alter, modify make different Cha! are you ready for something different are you ready for the shift for the change for the new thing someone say amen come on i want you to pray a lot of the holy ghost rabba, rabba. there are winds of change there are angels of change there is a great change that's coming to you and everything in your life is going to change new people new incomes New faith, new glory, new everything. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Shout out. For God says I am doing a new thing. I am doing a new thing. Hallelujah. I want to say one more thing. And I want to pray with you all. Amen. Once again, we're here in Amarillo tonight. And then tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll be in Albuquerque. Monday, we'll be in Flagstaff. Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll be in Phoenix, Arizona. Friday will be in Santa Monica. Then Saturday, Sunday, we will be in Los Angeles. Amen. And that is it for Route 66 Revival. And the 4th of July, fireworks, freedom, let freedom ring. God bless America. Come on, somebody. Somebody shout. Hallelujah. So we're nearly done.
with a Route 66 revival tour. Glory be to God. But who knows that God is just beginning to move. There's a new thing that God's doing. Amen. So great change, my friends. Many of you right now, hear me now. Many of you are in the greatest transitionary season of your life. Someone say transition. You are in the greatest transitionary season of your life. I believe many of you, a line has been drawn in the sand. Will you go forward with the things of God or will you stay back? Are you for the Lord or are you against him? And I believe there's an opportunity that's open for you. And God is saying, are you going to stay back? Or are you going to move forward? And a line is being drawn in the sand. And many of you, hear me now. There's some great changes that are coming. A change with your job. A change with your home address, your home location. A change in your ministry. A change with your inner circle, with your associations. There's a great change that's coming and that we are a part of, in front of. Some say transition. And I believe for those, you know you are in the greatest shift, transition of your life, the greatest change. Amen. If that's you, I want to say that to me and I want to pray for you right now. If I'm talking to you, if this is bearing witness with your spirit, if you know that this is a word for you, I want to say you're talking to me. Amen. Because I believe right now, God is saying, get ready for great change. Get ready for great change. For great, great change. Amen. And I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. Give me some hearts and likes in this place. Job, location, and ministry. Andy says, you're talking to me. Nadine, Natalie B, Elizabeth, Margaret Kiloe, Inga, Jerusha, Marilyn, Mia, Crystal, Rebe Rebedet, Jennifer, Monica. Thank you, Lord. Am I talking to you? Great change, my friends. In the spirit, supernaturally. There's winds of change. There's opportune times of change in the name of Jesus. There's great change that's coming. And I believe the Lord is saying, get ready for great change. Get ready for great, great change. Someone say a new thing. Michael, Deborah, bless you. Tammy, Hosanna. Shara Barata. Shara Barata. Choo. I want to pray for you. I'm telling you, friends, listen. Your, your circle, your prayer group, your associate, everything's going to change. God's taking you to another level. It is unstoppable. All right, lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you for the power of God. I thank you right now. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire rekesha of the Holy Ghost. And Lord, I thank you for great change and breakthrough upon your people. A different level of the glory of God. Different anointing. For I am doing a new thing, says the Lord. I am doing a new thing. Great and unstoppable change is coming. Change is coming to the White House. Change is coming to the government of America. Come on, someone say change. Change is coming to this nation. Great change is coming. And the Lord is going to shift the guard and position. And God is elevating, raising up, promoting. Sharababa. And the Lord is increasing in the name of Jesus. Someone say amen. Lord, I thank you for every single person that is here, that senses, knows that they are in the middle of a great change, 
and of a great transition. God, I ask for the fire of God to come upon them now in Jesus' name. Now that God's people say amen, listen, people of God, I shared this on a Zoom broadcast on Monday. But on the Zoom webinar, I said, expect a double boom by the end of June. Listen, you need to hear this. Expect a double boom by the end of June. By the end of June, expect a double boom. And hear me now. I see in the realm of the spirit, by the end of July, that change is gonna become final. That shift is gonna become final. Why so? How so? Because by the end of July, we're going to step into Tishbaav. We're going to step into the month of Av, which is the destruction of the temple, the destruction of the old thing. Amen. So that the new temple, the new guard, the new thing will be raised up. So I believe there's going to be a double boom for you by the end of June. And hear me now, by the end of July, there's going to be a finalization of the great change. If this bears witness with your spirit, I want to say amen. Now, I know I'm talking spiritually. Amen. I know I'm talking prophetically. But I believe by the end of July, there is going to be a finalization of a new you, of a new level, of a new glory. Because we're going to step into the month of Av and Tishba Av, which is a destruction of the old temple. Someone say amen. So Lord, thank you for the double boom, the double change by the end of June. Double shift, double change by the end of June. If you're receiving it now, I want you to say amen. Praise God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Now, friends, once again, I want to remind you, amen. Once again, I want to remind you, I am here in Amarillo tonight. Tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're going to be in Albuquerque. Then afterwards, we'll be in Flagstaff, then Phoenix, Santa Monica, then Los Angeles, then the month of July, we're going to be in Hawaii with Prophet Charlie and Bryn Champ and Steve Swanson. I'm also going to minister in Samoa in the month of July. Then afterwards in August, I'm traveling all over, my friends, all over. But I want to say I love you and uh, the Lord bless you. I'm so happy to see you today. Release this quick word. Oscar, I want to see you here in LA next week, bro. But I would love... Uh, to see you guys soon at an on-site location. I love all of you dearly. If this word ministered to you, I want you to say amen. If you're blessed today, and you know this is a word for you, I want to say amen. <clears throat> now listen, friends. Uh, I feel led to do this. But in this moment, if you agree with the man of God, if you agree with the word of the Lord, I want you to sow a seed. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the work of his hands and watch what God will do. I sincerely believe many of you are going to change addresses, change homes, change jobs. You need that breakthrough. You need to break through to the next level, to the next dimension of the spirit. But I believe your name's going to change. Everything about you is going to change. If you believe it, say amen. So friends, I want to invite you to sow. And I want you to invite, I want to invite you to bless the Lord and to give back to the work of his hands. Amen. And as you do so, I want you to type, uh, I want you to comment, great change. Amen. I want you to comment, great change as you sow. Praise God. Comment, great change as you sow. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to comment, great change. Sharabata.
Yeah, that's Prophet Tim. My goodness. Thank you. Monica, bless you. Michael, amen. Marilyn. I'm actually going to move myself. I'm moving back to Orange County. I said, you know what? I love LA, but uh uh, not today. So I'm moving back to OC, Orange County. So Prophet Tim Kenner is looking at some properties for me right now, and he's going to video time, FaceTime me in so I could check out the spot. And he's going to look on my behalf. Amen. So I'm going to say, great change. Praise God. Hosanna, bless you. DC, bless you. Connie, bless you. Tony, bless you. Pinky, bless you. Shara Baba Roto Toroba. Julie, bless you. Thank you, Father. Kimberly, bless you. Amen. So as you feel led to do so, obey the Lord. Believe in his prophets and you will prosper. Slungale Shabalala, bless you. Cynthia, bless you. Margaret K, bless you. Melinda, bless you. Thank you, Lord. <coughs> Cece, bless you. Angela, bless you. Amen. Who feels the epicness of the season? I mean, my goodness, God's about to show up and show off, friends. The Lord is about to show up and show off. Rebera Bosa. Amen. CC, bless you. Pastor Brandon, bless you. Hello from Toronto, Canada. Bless you. Thank you, Lord. Someone say hallelujah. Prophet Zivana, bless you. Thank you, Father. Amen. Great change, my friends. Great change. Well, once again, I'm here in Amarillo today. Then tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have Jake Hamilton with us in Albuquerque. Then we got Monday in Flagstaff. Then Tuesday, Wednesday next week in Phoenix with Steve Swanson. Then Friday, Saturday, Sunday in Los Angeles, three days of glory. Jake Hamilton, come on, Natasha Hen, Ross Johnson, myself. It's going to be an epic closure to Route 66 Revival. Amen. Well, bless your friends. Thanks for watching. I love you. Consider sharing this on your wall. Give us a like, follow, subscribe to Facebook. Amen. We just broke 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. Listen, my YouTube was doing wonderful until January 6th. And then I got banned for a whole year. But the devil is a liar. What the enemy meant for evil, God will turn it around for good. Amen. So bless your friends. I love you. Consider following us on all platforms. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook. Shalom. Shalom.